All right, guys. So I wanted to share um, one as long as you guys can hear me. Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> um, I feel so bad for Cindy. I know she's so frustrated, but um, I wanted to share with you guys our great master uh, system. And it all starts with the base. So uh, this right here um, has kind of become my new gadget in the house that I find I can make things a lot more healthy. I can um, save a lot of money by uh, slicing my own, shredding my own, uh, grating my own thing. So this is the base and it all starts with this piece right here. And this in the catalog is $39 and you build upon this base with all the different accessories that you uh, need or want in your house. It has a suction base here, so it will stick to any smooth surface. Uh, and this is important because um, if you're grading things like sweet potatoes or almonds or ice cubes, we want to be able to make sure it's sturdy and not gonna dance all around your countertop, right? So we're gonna put that down on your counter. And then we're gonna pick the accessory on top, this system. This is the Great Master System. And it has kind of like this cone tunnel here on the top and a hopper. And then it has your locking base here. So this is actually what's gonna to connect to the, the base system here. And how it works, so you guys can see, it slides in, right? So I have it in the unlocked position. You can see there the little unlock. These little lines add up to that lock unlock position and I'm going to put it down slide this in while it's in the unlock position and then you're going to twist and you're going to feel this little click and it's not only going to lock this piece to the base but it's also going to cause your suction ring to pull up and be suctioned to your counter so I'm pulling with all of my weight and this is not going anywhere so it is suction to your counter all right, and then uh, what comes with this um, master shredder accessory is two cones, uh, and they're grater cones. So the first one is a coarse grater. So this would be something you would use to grate your cheeses, to grate zucchini, uh, carrots, things like that, um, for zucchini bread and those kind of things. And then you have a fine grater. So this is for like finely shredded cheese, those Parmesan's hard cheeses. Um, this is fun for chocolates and things like that to grate chocolate. Um, and it has a little protective sleeve there so your um, blades stay nice and sharp and uh, your hands stay protected too when they're in storage. And I typically stack them just like this into my cabinet drawer. And a good thing to cross sell with this would be your tumbler brushes and they clean up really nicely with your tumbler brushes or your bottle brushes. Um, so you don't touch it with your sponge and damage your sponge or hurt your hand. So I will always cross sell those tumbler brushes with that. All right, so what else comes with this accessory set is a plunger. And the plunger is what you'll use to push the fruit or vegetables or ice or cheese, whatever it is that you're pushing down into the hopper is this is what that's for. And then I am going to use tonight part of our Great Master Cone Trio. So this is a separate item in your catalog and it comes with three pieces. The first one is this grater. So it's, it's not like the cheese grater, it's more like a grind. So you can grind crackers to make your own breadcrumbs, grind your own dry breads to make your own breadcrumbs. You can make your own um, almond flour. You know how expensive almond flour is per pound? Um, this is an awesome piece to have. Uh, grating nutmeg, make your own nutmeg. Uh, okay, hazelnuts, making hazelnut flour, all that kind of good stuff. All right, so that one's good there. And then, um, this one is your slicer. So this is good for slicing fruits and vegetables, like cucumbers. Um, it's just so much faster um, and simpler just to plunge it down and have it slice even beautiful pieces. And there's two. So one on this side and one on the other. So it's doing double the work for you. And the one we're using tonight, which you can see has a hard cover, not just the vinyl sleeve. It has a hard cover because you have an exposed blade. 
Okay, this one has three exposed blades, very sharp. This is a snow cone shaper or your ice shaper. So this thing is thebomb.com, especially now it's summertime, everybody's going to want to use this bad boy. So you're going to remove your plastic sheath and you're going to slide it into your master accessory base and you're going to attach it with the hand crank. Okay, so you're just going to feed that on. You can see it's got these little grooves in here that are going to match the grooves on your cone. Okay? And you just twist the knob until it gets kind of close together here. You can see it's close pinching together. And then you want to make sure you have enough room to crank it. Um, if you're left-handed or right-handed, you know, you can just maneuver it around to your um, preference. All right. So now we're gonna make a grapefruit lemonade granita. And you could do this with anything that you can freeze. You could do a lemonade, you could do limeade, you could do cherry, you could do um, apple juice, um, you could do plain ice, and then add your snow cone flavors afterwards if you'd like. Um, I've also got like some cherry, some cherry juice, some uh, grenadine, whatever you like. I've even done ice cube coffee. So I've taken my old coffee or my unused coffee, put it in ice cube trays and froze them and then put them in that shave ice and had kind of like a coffee granita and I pour a little cream over the top and sugar. It's so good. Okay, so what I did was I took some grapefruit juice and I squeezed it and a little bit of lemon juice and I added a simple syrup to it and I'll post the recipe for this and I put it in our little ice cube trays. And I love our freezer mate ice cube trays because they are very pliable and all of these cubes are just gonna pop out so easy. And then I'm just gonna transfer these guys into our popper. All right, and what you wanna do is you wanna fill it about halfway and then once it gets down, or fill it all the way and then once it gets halfway, fill it again. I'm gonna just put our cubes in here. You could do this with some, frozen berries. You can take strawberries and chop them up in the power chef and then do the same thing. Um, freeze them back up into cubes and then put them back to here and make a little strawberry granita. All right, we're going to take our plunger now and we're going to plunge down our grapefruit and lemonade cubes and we're just gonna, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that coming out. Look what it did. They're a little soft. I had them sitting out. Look how beautiful that is okay and then i'm just going to take our pretty glass and i like using the mix and store pitcher for this because it fits perfectly underneath that spout so i don't mm. need anything okay so now we're going to take this grapefruit granita and i'm just going to pour it into our pretty glass here and then i'm going to top it with a little cherry and a little bit of our cherry juice with our tilt and serve. Ooh la la, look at that. Does that look yummy? So stay cool guys. You guys need a master great system and our trio, cone trio to go with.